Oh, I did not realize this was here. So this is Appetite from Red Power, so it's been updated graphically. Looks a lot better than it used to. And there's a lot more of it in one spot too, wow. Jeez. Look at it all. Wow, another layer. Wow, we're going to get like two, two or three stacks from this. There we go, so we got one, two, three, four stacks. Oop, and that one. Jeez, four stacks of appetite from one cluster. So I wonder if it's a lot rarer now, and that's why. Hey guys, Barrett is here, and welcome back to Feed the Beast. So in the last episode we got this nice little house log cabin sort of thing built up on the mountainside. We also did a lot of mining and cleared a little area of down there in the jungle. I've done some more mining off camera and we've got a good supply now of well of ores and psychorium, a few crystals. Coal, this appetite I just found before I started recording. And not a lot of quartz or rubies or sapphires. It's not too bad though, it's a good start. Also got just random stuff. I also found a dungeon, which did I remember to... Yeah, a zombie dungeon down there. So I found that one and we got a logic matrix from it. An enchanted book of unbreaking, a, a music disc far, and a saddle. I've also been getting some of these shards of minium from some mobs that we've killed, which I think are for equivalent exchange three. So we're going to have to look into them later on down the line. But for today, we're going to build a little farm. Nothing too major. I just want something small that we can grow a bit of wheat in gravel there. Just that we can grow some wheat, get some bread and not starve to death anymore. And I think we're gonna do it down here underneath our first level of our house. So I'm thinking we only need probably two, three high. So if we go one, two, three, so this will be our four layer floor layer, that is. And I'm just going to go with the jungle wood again. So we'll just make our beams and it'll be a little bit shorter than our upper level, but that's fine. We don't need a huge amount of area. And we can always build on the ground if we need to. So alright, let's get building.
Alright, so we've almost got our farm ready. Uh, we just need, oh, we've only got one of each seed. Well, flax and henequin, I don't think are food, so they can probably just stay in there for now. We'll plant some corn, some seeds, and some potatoes. Uh, what else? We can't plant mushrooms under there. Well, we probably can, but we're not going to. What else can we plant? Probably not much. That's fine though. Uh, what else do we need? Ah, we need a hoe. Of course. Uh, we got some rubies, so we'll just make one out of them. Like so. A ruby hoe. Oop, pick up our sticks. Alright. Let's go plant some seeds. So I'll just put this water back here and we can till some of this. Done. Okay, let's plant our corn in this corner. We'll stick our potato in the middle and put our wheat over here. So we also need to set up some light so we'll do, let's see, say a torch there, torch there, 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 and there. That should be fine. And we can also do wood blocks on top of our water so that we can just plant a torch on top of there too like so and if we end up getting to do some thorn craft in this series we'll be able to get some harvesting golems or uh, some what are they, uh, straw golems straw golems and wooden golems to automatically harvest these and we'll just replace these blocks with chests and it should be good but otherwise, I think I'm going to need to get some more wood so that we can just stick some walls around the outside of this. Just to make sure we don't get any stray creepers running in here. And to keep the vines out. So many vines. Alright, there we go. So we'll just need to get some glass panes and we'll actually have to put an entrance in too. Uh, oh, look at the vines. Hmm, might leave them and see how they grow. Could add a nice field to this place. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, we're gonna need... Let's see, we're gonna need an entrance. So maybe maybe just like here. Ah, uh, see, that's not gonna put us. Yes, yeah, so that's not a good choice. Mm, because of the way we've angled, the way we've designed it. Maybe. Maybe, um, okay, that drops us there. Yeah, okay, let's do something like this. Uh, 
Uh, how am I going to get to there? I have to go outside. And... See if it'll block there. Should do, that should get us... Ah, we need to go one more. Uh, we can't really get low enough. Is that the right spot? I think that's the right spot. I hope that's the right spot. Yeah, there we go. So we'll just block that up. And that one. There we go. Then we can just put our ladder, which we need to make up there. I have to get some sticks. Two, three. There we go. So we probably don't need to worry about a trapdoor on that. So next we're gonna need glass. Yeah. I don't think I've got enough glass left over. No. Uh, let's see. If we do another. 12, that might be enough. Just wait for them to cook. Alright, our glass is done, so let's put these up into some panes. There we go. We should be good to go. Ah, just block that up. Uh, I'm going to be sad if I was one short after that. Ah, got plenty left. Alright. So we've got our little food area. I'm just going to have to go find some more seeds now and get these planted up and growing. And we won't be starving anymore. It'd be great. Alright, I'm going to go sleep for the night first. Then I'm just going to go find the field nearby and go punch a heap of ground. Get us some seeds. Alright, something I didn't think of building, but we can probably just whip one up now quickly. If we make a crafting bench. Uh, oh, let's see if we can make... Uh, let's see, if we put a crafting bench and a stick... Yeah, we get a pocket crafting table. So, yeah, if we right-click with that... It brings up this inventory, and I believe these nine here determine what we're going to craft. And what I want to craft is, uh, what's the recipe? Might have to look it up. It's a, let's see, a stone. There it is, a stone sickle. Ah, like that. Alright. There we go. So we now we have a stone sickle. And what the stone sickle lets us do is if I get a flatter area, like here, see so if I punch this grass breaks all the grass around it in an area. So it's really good for clearing out large grassy areas or for harvesting seeds. And because this is Feed the Beast and we've got lots of mod packs, we're getting lots of different types of seed. So we've got flax, henequin and corn. Now flax is from uh, Red Power 2 and I I think Hennequin might be as well. I know flax will, uh, when we break the plant, will get string. 
Uh, Henequin, I'm not sure about. I haven't seen that before. Corn will obviously make corn, and I think that's added by Zycraft. I think we can cook corn to make like popcorn or corn on the cob. Stuff like that. So we've also got these purple, our uh, indigo flowers. They're red power, and I think all they're really good for is just getting indigo dye, and just for being another little flower we can plant and use for decoration. So I'm punching all of these, and I'm not getting a whole lot of wheat seeds, which is a shame. Alright, I'll just keep punching for a little while. Probably till our sickle breaks. Oh, something else I'll show you before I forget. We can also do that with the sickle and break leaf blocks. So it makes it really easy to clear large areas of forest. So that's something else cool we'll be able to do with this. The sickle's a really handy tool to have. Oh, there it goes. Alright. Now I should probably kill some of these cows or pigs for food, but I'm going to leave them because we'll want to set up a farm soon, and knowing my luck, if I kill them all, I'll have a lot of trouble finding some more to actually make a farm later on. So we'll leave them for now. We got oh, 31 seeds, 22 corn kernels. Not bad. Be enough to get our farm started anyway. Um, nom 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 nom. <sighs> Much better. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in for this episode. We've finally got some food, we've got shelter, we've got resources, it's time to put them to use. So I'm, normally when I play mods like this, I get pretty lost at the start, I don't really know where to start. There's just so much we can end up doing and building, so I'm going to leave it open to you guys. So I think these two episodes will probably go up a little bit before I really get into the swing of Feed the Beast. So my question to you guys is what should I build first? Like we're probably gonna need some I don't know what they're called, something like a macerator. See we've got the whoops. We've got the uh I see two macerators, which, oh man, they look so, wow. Their recipe has changed a lot. But yeah, we don't just have that one. There's also a thermal expansion version of a macerator. There's, uh, I think there's a rolling machine or a grinder. So the grinder, quartz grinder, grinder, Oops, pressing the wrong button here. Yeah, I don't know, there's there's so many different ways we can go, but the first thing we're going to need to do is get some sort of ore processing, I think. But, yeah, I think I'll leave it open to you guys, like which direction should we go to start with? Uh, should we, yeah, should we go uh, IC2 or thermal expansion or even, yeah, like the, it's not the rolling machine. I think there's a railcraft version that lets us macerate ores though. But yeah, let me know in the comments and we'll start getting into the actual tech and FTB building stuff in the next episode. I'll see you then.